assalamu alaikum students how are you all hope all of you are doing well as you know our assessments are just starting in upcoming few days so for this purpose we already have been started our revision in earlier days of eid as you know before the eid we just revised our first one topic which was more on number system and today we will revise our second one chapter which is working on word so here we have the contents of today's lesson inserting a comment inserting a watermark inserting table and text wrapping in ms word all right these are the contents of today's lesson so we will revise all these contents the first one is comment a comment is a remark or an opinion made by the person creating the document but it is not the part of the document as you know very well that ms word have a special feature which is comment which is quite helpful for reader and the creator both the people all right how uh, as you know the different words or different events normally used in most of the stories or documents which is not familiar by the reader so the creator easily describe or uh, provide information about these words or events by the help of comment to the reader all right for this purpose the reader easily understand the following points from the creator with the help of comment creator can easily transfer his or her ideas to the reader's mind as i told you before that the creator can easily guide or provide more information related to the document with the help of comment to the reader so for this purpose it is quite helpful for creator and reader as well comment may not the part of text but related to the text you already knows the comment very well because in your textbooks you have a lot of examples in it for example in your english oxford textbook you have some difficult words in it with the explanation as the comment section all right and then you have some uh, sources in your uh, history book and other more so it is not the part of the uh, text but related to the text because it is extra information to the reader it is used in text or passages where there is a lot of information jab bahut zyada explanation karni hoti hai to usme taaki dusri information mingle na ho jaye for that purpose most of the time creator used to comment because he wants you to read out the focused one point aisa hai ki kuch cheezon ki explanation aapko provide to ki jati hai better understanding ke liye लेकिन उसका एक्चुअली कोई पर्पस नहीं होता उस स्टोरी के अंदर या डॉक्यूमेंट के लिए लेकिन आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग के लिए उसको कमेंट सेक्शन में मेंशन किया जाता है ऑल राइट क्लास द नेक्स्ट वन इज द लास्ट एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज पॉइंट आउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द टेक्स टू द रीडर तो विद द हेल्प ऑफ कॉमेंट easily a creator can highlights or uh, focused or point out some important aspects of the document to the reader all right class so here is the basic need so here we want to know how to insert a comment in ms word for this purpose we will open ms word all right so class here we have a passage which is related to the microsoft word and uh, you can already uh, saw the different comments over here so like here we have a word microsoft which is a developer company the developer of office all right so isko mention karne ke liye yahan par humne insert kiya hai comment so here we have a word which is brochures for this Uh, we can easily provide information in comment section and then you have another word with its explanation all right so hum janenge ki comment kaise insert kiya jata hai here we have two different ways the first one is click in insert 
and here you can see a comment section over here all right and for this purpose first of all you have to select a word the word which you want to explain like here you have a word which is helpful comment so this one word is highlighted and now here you have a comment box so the word helpful means useful all right so we can simply explain this word by like this all right so it is highlighted simply you can place cursor in it and you can edit it or delete or anything you want all right so now this one is the first one method and then you have a review tab all right so here the thing we want to know is new comment if you want to comment a new then simply click on it with the same way then you want to delete any comment so click this one tab then previous comment like this then you have a next tab which uh, when you will click on it it is simply moving to the next one comment and if you want to simply click the show comments like these comments are hide now and when you click on show comments they will mention on you all right simply mention ho jayenge aapke samne so this is the two ways of inserting comments in ms word all right topic next one is watermark isko bhi bahut achhi tarah aap jante hain bahut achhi tarah se explain kar chuki hu main aapko so here we have a watermark watermark is an item of a text or a picture it means there are two types of watermark the first one is text it may be a text it may be a picture used as a background of the document it means the watermark always held in or always we will find watermark in the background of the document all right so it's a special feature of ms word to give personal touch to the document all right so most of the companies or organization especially the special personalities might be used some of the watermark as their name or as their organization logos at watermark in the back of the document all right so most of the time uh, isko personal touch dene ke liye use kiya jata hai ki ye kis company se kis school se kis organization se ya kis personality se belong karta hai for example you have evaluation from your school with the logo of your school css all right two types of watermark are picture watermark and text watermark so in picture watermark we can easily add a picture at the background of your document as watermark and in text watermark we can simply add any kind of text it may be a name of your organization it might be the name of a person or a, or a personality text watermark may contain sign or a name of a writer okay the writer the composer of the doc the belongings of the document can easily mentioned by the watermark and the picture watermark is the document having a picture at the background it should be the lighter so that document is visible so it should be lighter in tone because if you have a lighter in tone watermark at the background of your document you can easily read out the text which is written in front of the watermark otherwise it can interfere with the text all right how to insert a watermark in ms word for this purpose we will again going back to the ms word and find out how can we insert a watermark okay class for insertion of watermark simply we will click on design tab and then here you have option watermark all right simply we will click on it here we have some ready made watermark like confidential to not copy draft and sample etc as soon as possible urgent and other more 
but we have to customize so simply we will click on custom watermark okay class as you can see here we have no watermark in our document first of all we will find out the picture watermark simply click on it and then wash out ko clear karenge then you have to select a picture and we'll find out a picture from from a file so here you have a picture of microsoft and then insert apply and here you can see the watermark all right you can see it is lighter in tone and you can easily see that that the text of the document is quite readable visible all right so here you can see the example of picture watermark all right ye humne apply karke dekh liya hai aur ab hum kya karenge hum karte hain text watermark isko click karte hain aur text watermark mein jo language hai yahan par hai english united states the text you want to write down as the watermark simply click on it and write like we will write ms dot word all right and then the font you want to write like you have to select it from here upper black maine kar diya hai size auto fit and then you want to color the color of the text lighter in tone hona chahiye so it would be a yellow all right and semi transparent we want so apply so here you can see here you can see the text watermark we want to change the color a little bit darker okay that's the blue one and then you have a brownish so it's okay close now you can see the textural watermark as well all right class i hope you can understand it very well now because it is quite repeated now the next one we have is tables structure of cells arranged in rows and columns is called table you are quite familiar with the tables as you can see the most of the examples are presented in our schools are with the help of tables your time table your bell timings your schedule of assessments and day sheets and all the all these things like comparison and classification in different subjects are also explained or mentioned or organized by tables a table is a very useful tool of ms word for organizing data and information in rows and columns because the huge and the bulk amount of data is quite easily organized with the help of table as you know uh, if your time table is written like a text or a passage it is quite difficult to understand which one subject is the next one class so with the help of table your time table in your classroom is quite easy to read out and understand it all right data arranged in tables is easy to read and understand if you have to read out the passage of your time table you read out it might be in 5 or 6 minutes so with the help of table you can simply go to the uh, period number and the the day and the timings so you can easily find out which one is your next one period In tables we can add the information in a specific way rather than in a paragraph or a passage. To bajaye ek pura paragraph ya aise likhne ke simply with the help of table you can find out your information a, a specific way. All right? We can use tables to sort or classify data according to the given criteria. As you know, the class list of yours at the door of your classroom 
have a special criteria it means all the students in the class are the students of 8th class girls all right it means it is a specific criteria because in your classroom there are no students from class 7th or 6th so the criteria is only for students of 8th class this class is only for the students of 8th class tables are widely used in communication research and data analysis so the world wide surveys are the huge information of surveys are already or most of the time organized or summarized with the help of the table how to insert a table in ms word so here we want to insert a table so simply insert and then you have a tab of a table click on it so if you want to select table or rows and columns in it you can simply drag your mouse so easily can draw on the rows and columns on your document like here i am going to draw a table of five columns and three rows simply click on it and here you have your table so this is the simplest way to insert a table and the next one way is simply again insert table and then and then you have to insert a table all right and here you have the table size if you want to insert the columns of your table are 6 you simply you have to write down 6 over here and the rows numbers are 4 5 6 7 all right and then automatically uh, auto fit hona chahiye inko and then okay so here you can see here we have a table with six columns and seven rows simply you want to add data in it click on it the specific cell and then write then simply move your cursor where you want and then you can write easily here we have the next topic which is text wrapping text wrapping as a ms word feature used in important documents like your books you have a lot of uh, example of text wrapping in your books because in your books you have a lot of pictures along with related text in it it allows you surround a picture or a diagram with text because we have a lot of information related to the picture it enables us to surround a picture with text it is called text flow so with the help of text wrapping you can easily wrap your picture with your text it creates a manageable document which allows the content to be connected because if you want to mention your text to very well you want to explain it you can easily use your pictures to explain it in a good manner for that purpose the information the text of your document and the picture of your document both the text and pictures are interconnected all right content and picture should be connected so here we have the three basic types of text wrapping techniques the first one is square wrapping in this technique text wraps around a picture in a box shape so square way mein usko wrap kar diya jata hai like a box the next one is it's true wrapping in this technique text flows in the blank spaces inside an image all right the jo picture ke andar image ke andar jo blank spaces hoti hain unke andar data ko uh, likh diya jata hai text ko add kar diya jata hai for that reason it is called as true wrapping tight wrapping in this technique the text flows the shape of an image तो जिस तरह की शेप होती है उसी के साथ टाइटली उसको रैप किया जाता है यानी वो शेप के साथ फ्लो करती है सो है वी हैव हाउ टू डू टेक्स रैपिंग इन एम एस वर्ड ओके क्लास है वी हैव टेक्स्ट ओवर हेयर सम टेक्स्ट ओवर हेयर 
and then we are going to wrap a picture with a text so simply we will first of all we will insert a picture where we want simply insert then picture and here I'm going to insert this one picture over here and then resize getting a score all right so this one is the first one okay click over here and then here you have a format option me text wrap text wrap okay the okay let me explain it one by one the first one is in line with text so here you can see this one is first one line and in line text this one is inline text wrapping the second one is square wrapping so this one is square wrapping as you can see so simply you can drag your picture in your text wherever you want it will be into square wrap square way here you can see all right the next one is tight wrapping so simply click on it and you can see the text just flows in the shape as the shape of the picture now you can see easily then again you have some more text wrapping options over here so through ko baad mein explain karte hain pehle dekhte hain bottom and up bottom and up pe text hai aur jo image hai wo center mein hai this is another way of text wrapping another technique of text wrapping behind text so the picture is at the behind of the text in front text so here you can see the images at the front of the text all right and then you have to the last one technique you want to know about the last one technique through pehle humne isko through pe click kiya then want to add some more points in your wrapping so simply add it more points in it so here you have some points over here you simply click on the way you want to text wrap all right so you can see the text will be like this all right and if you want to close it over here the text is behind it so we want to text over here all right so this these are the techniques you want to like this okay so jitna bhi aapko thoroughly isko karna hai aap simply text ko drag kar sakte hain waise hi more points create kar sakte hain तो इस तरह से आपने देखा होगा मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू सी दैट टेक्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रैपिंग इन टू योर मैगजीन्स एंड न्यूज़ पेपर्स एंड सम आर्टिकल्स एंड मोर अदर थिंग्स एंड मोर अदर डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो दीज आर द टेक्स रैपिंग ऑल राइट क्लास होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टॉपिक्स वेरी वेल एंड देन यू हैव ऑलरेडी नो दैट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस lesson at the end of any of your lesson you have an activity as well so do revise your summary the summary points are quite important for your assessments and the understanding of your topic so first of all do revise your summary after that solve your worksheet accurately and don't forget to mention your name at the top of your worksheet most of the students forget to write down their names and I never understand why it is and how can it be possible. So, so students kindly do mention your name at the top of your worksheet because it is quite helpful for your teachers. And as our assessments are starting from, I hope, from 17th of August. So, best of luck to you all, and so take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.